Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to tackle a common design challenge, making your body text more visually appealing. Long blocks of text can be intimidating for readers, making it harder to engage with your content. Here's a simple example. We have a document with a heading, subheading, an image, and a large block of body text. Notice the paragraph rule below the subheading. If you're not sure how to add that, check out my previous tutorial on paragraph rules in InDesign. It's a quick and easy way to add visual interest to your layouts. Link is in the card on top of this video and below in the description. Now back to the topic. While this is functional, it's not very visually exciting. Let's see how we can improve this. To make this more engaging, we are going to divide the text into multiple columns. Right click on the text frame and select text frame options from the context menu. In the text frame options dialog box, you will see a section for columns. By default, it's set to one column. Let's start with two columns. Enter two in the columns field. You can adjust the gutter, the space between columns to your liking. I will keep it at default for now. Click OK. And watch as the text automatically reflows into two columns. Notice how this immediately improves the visual flow and makes the text more inviting to read. Let's try three columns. Change the number of columns to three and click OK. Three columns can work well, but be mindful of the overall width of the page. Too many columns can make the text appear cramped and difficult to read. Ultimately, the ideal number of columns depends on the length of your text, the width of your page, and your overall design aesthetic. The goal is to create a layout that is both visually appealing and easy to read. Experiment with different column configurations to find what works best for your specific project. This simple technique can significantly enhance the readability and visual appeal of your InDesign documents. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more InDesign tips and tricks. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at javasumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Javasumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Javasumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.